Have you ever wondered, what is Shadow's actual name? His parents definitely didn't name him that way. He got it, due to losing his human flesh. Unfortunately, we can't find his real name. Even if we read all the official sources about the game. However, once some random person asked developers the same question, they replied, that the main character's name is hidden in the darkness. In Shadow Fight 2 one of the central characters is Mei, and she's named after a month. In Shadow Fight 3, a different yet very important character to the plot, who also guides the protagonist, is called June. As you can guess, her name also comes from a month. Shadow Fight Arena has a supporting central character, who is called April. This sequence makes you think, when is August coming? Since Shadow's descendant traveled back in time numerous times, and each time, left a copy with their unique personality and traits, you could say, Shadow and May have hundreds of millions of children. Imagine paying that amount of child support for so many kids. Have you ever thought about it? Tell in the comments. You've always heard and seen Shadow Fight 2, also Shadow Fight 3. But what about Shadow Fight 1? It was a Facebook-based fighting game, that was released in 2011. Sadly, the game was permanently shut down in 2017. But what's crazier than that? There was a game called Simply Shadow Fight, and it was developed by one of the founders of Neki. The company that created Shadow Fight series. The developer, Evgeny Diabin, was inspired by the Matrix movie. This game was very basic, and it predates to 2001. What about you? Are you older or younger than the very first game of the Shadow Fight series? Many people nowadays assume, that Titan is the strongest opponent in the game. Well, canonically yes, but in reality from the perspective of the player, the strongest enemy is Mei in Eclipse. She is, by far, the most difficult opponent in the game, and did you know, that she was many times nerfed or buffed, depending on which update we're talking about. What makes beating Mei so difficult? Compared to, let's say, Titan? When you get hit by almost any opponent in the game, you only lose a small portion of your health, considering you improved your equipment. But when it comes to Mei and Eclipse, she deals ridiculous damage, even with simple attacks. And your attacks have minimum effect, sometimes she regenerates, and in order to win, you have to spam attacks non-stop. In some versions of the game, Mei's one simple attack was enough to take the player down. And blocking her simple kicks or hits, would deal serious damage. Bleeding and poison enchantment either didn't work on her, or took 1% of her health. While in other versions, those two can help you drastically to defeat Mei. The player can survive more than 5 or 6 attacks easily, and take 70% of Mei's health, with Monk Set and Rage Enchantment. When I defeated Mei in Eclipse for the very first time, it took me more than a month to do it. How long it took you? Tell in the comments. Some of you might have noticed, that when fighting Wasp, if she is close to the wall, she can actually fly from one wall to another. And when she does that, if you pay attention, she actually has wings. The reason as well as the explanation how she got them, is rather vague and unknown. Also, in special edition of the game, as well as in the original version, it's said several times, that the mysterious disappearance of the pirate king, Wasp's father, has to do something with Widow and Wasp planning something together. Many rumors have spread, that Wasp is the one responsible for the disappearance of her own dad. Do you think these rumors are true? I know, you don't want to see an ad, but this one is about my own channel, and the games I develop. On my another channel I post videos about my games. They are far from perfect. And need a lot of improvements. I'd really appreciate, if you spent 2 minutes to check them out and leave feedback on what needs to be improved, and suggest your own ideas. Subscribing would also mean a lot to me, but anyway thanks for, at least, your attention. During the era of Titan's warriors ravaging Trough the human world, the only demon, whose land is not affected by Titan's bodyguards, is Widow. Meanwhile, Assassin takes Lynx's order. Guru takes Butcher's Town. Corsair deals with Wasp's pirates. Emperor gets Shogun's Empire. Master captures Hermit's School. If you had a chance to get one of the six demons' land, whose town would you take? Some of the demons from Shadow Fight 2, appear in Shadow Fight 3 as well. One of them is Lynx, who looks completely different from the previous game however is still the leader of the Order of Assassins. Butcher. Well he now looks like someone, who spent a few years in jail. He actually spent time in Dynasty, doing not so much ethical things. And learned a few Dynasty moves. Widow also hides in the Dynasty, and she is known as a fabric maker. 
However, don't think she's kind, or in any way good, just like other demons. It's strange. But all these demons in Shadow Fight 3, have horns. Comment down below, which of these three demons you think looks the best. When Mei asks to be your assistant, you can't reject her. Even if you press the rejection, the next screen is her asking you with pleases, and the only option to respond, is okay. It's also impossible to canonically lose against Kenji and Shin. After you try your best to get hit, they'll stop attacking you. Afterwards the time reaches zero, and you lose by timeout. However, then you return back in time, to the same dialogue, where you're required to battle the character again, as if nothing happened. When you lose to a challenger in Shadow Fight 2, there is no way to fight again, if you let them go. This may be known to some of you, maybe not to others. This guy's actual name is Nemos. He's also 11,000 years old. He himself directly says that in Shadow Fight 3, he also can travel in time, and between worlds, as seen in Shadow Fight 3, and Special Edition of Shadow Fight 2. Personally, I think this guy looks mysterious, and actually cool in Shadow Fight 3. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed watching, consider leaving a like, subscribing, and checking out the games I develop on my second channel.